welcome back to the Chronicles of the Range Monkey. I'm Natalie, here with my dad, Neil Widener, and we're gonna be working on some Mantis stuff today. The Storm Hunter WX weather app is free to download and use and provides you with warning of severe weather even before the National Weather Services issue alerts. This advanced weather app is an important tool for awareness of severe weather that I use every day. Download and use it totally free without in-app purchases on iOS or Android at the link below. All right, so we've spent the last few weeks uh, working through some dry fire stuff because it's cold where we yeah. live and going outside kind of stinks. And frankly, most good shooters spend 80 to 90% of their time in dry fire versus live. That's where, I mean, you talk okay. to the high-end competition guys, you talk to the high-end shooting guys in whatever thing they do, uh, especially when it comes to pistols, 80 to 90% is dry. Um, and so you don't have to go to the range every single day or, right. or even every week. You probably should go a couple times a month, um, but we work everything in dry. When we dry fire, the only thing we're missing is the boom and the recoil. So we can right. work on everything up to that. Um, it, it is a bit of a struggle because so we don't get to work on follow-up shots and all of that kind of stuff, but we do get to work on our grips, our sight, our trigger, yeah. all of that kind of stuff. So that's the cool thing, right? Yeah, dry fire practice is really important. I think I'm nowhere near 80% though. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, and, and, yeah, and very few are. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the ones that are have the letters GM after their name for yeah. Grandmaster. Those yeah. are the guys, you know, uh, that's the Riley Bowmans, the Tim Harris, yeah. they're spending the time. We struggled to do that. Um, and so, you know, but even a little bit will get us better. Um, right now, um, you haven't been called out yet, but I have by Chris Bean, because, you know, we've got mm -hmm. Gabe White coming this summer or this fall to our house yeah. to do Gabe White's class. And Chris really wants a turbo pin. So do I, I'm not gonna well, lie. so do I, I'm but, gonna take it before but, either of you do. <laughs> <laughs> but Chris is, done, is already doing the work. Yeah, and we are yeah. not, and so we need to get after this. That might be another video that we need to do is yeah. work on some of the stuff that I he's think that's to. just the, uh, the energy that Chris wants me to have. Yes. He's been my teacher with all of the um, turbo pin stuff. Yeah. He really wants me to get it, yeah. so I'm well, And everybody does, right? Everybody, yeah. And Chris is a great guy, I love he him. Uh, he's a great shooter. But what he's got right now is a five minutes a day thing that he's doing to just work on the Gabe White stuff mm. to really get his draw to where it needs to be to get his follow-up shots where he needs to be. He's using like a mushy trigger so his follow-up shots are just mush. But that helps too. And so we'll we'll probably do a video on that at some point here in the pretty near future. Yeah. Because we gotta get to work. We do gotta get to work. Left Chris is gonna embarrass us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can't so, let that little string be yeah. <laughs> so, so, so this week what I wanna do is I just want us to do we're just gonna work in the mantis uh, system here. I'm gonna start my screen recording here so folks can see. Uh, but we've got there's a ton of stuff here that that folks can do. Yeah. But we're just gonna do some open training. And I just want you to give me your 10 best shots in open training. Mm -hmm. Let's see how that works. Okay. Ninety-seven. Make sure you press that. There you go. Ninety-three. There we go. Ninety-four. Ninety. Ninety-eight. Ninety-three. Ninety-seven. Mm. She's catching your reset because you're resetting too 95, slow. Ninety-five. Ninety-seven. Ninety-one. All right, that's ten. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, with ten there, uh, those are all above ninety. So if I hit stop, now what's cool is you can see your scores as you go. Mm -hmm. That line right there, the little dotted line, is above ninety. Uh, so just about everything over ninety. Now, if I really want to go here, so your first shot was a 97. So if I hit play, the blue is what happened before you broke the trigger. The yellow is as the trigger breaks. And then the red is your follow through. Okay. So that's why that was a 97, because you stayed very, very still during that. Uh, so let's see here. I think your one of your lower scores was a 93. Uh, you can see the difference in the yellow in that. It just moved a little bit as you broke mm, the trigger. Okay. I think um, I had a 90. So there's too, a 90. Yep. Okay. So see that one. Uh, hit play. 
There you go. So see that one, it shows that you had the muzzle was kind of down here and you just moved it up to find your target over here. And then as you broke the trigger, you kind of dipped a little bit. You can okay. see that muzzle come down and then you brought it back up to correct it. Um, so all of that is pretty cool. That's what open training is. Okay. Uh, yeah. Spent a little bit of time in that. And then I always tell people, go look at the squiggly lines. And people always ask every week when we do anything with this and I show them, what are the squiggly lines mean? Well, that's what the, what the motion of your muzzle is doing. And yeah, there's a bullseye on there, but it's assuming that you're aiming at your target. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and so that's the, the, the Mantis X10 and the, the X units like this, the three, the two, the eight, whatever all of yeah. them are. That's what it is. It, it's just getting the movement of your muzzle as you're aimed into the target. And so if you under, kind of understand that, uh, and you're honest with yourself, the open training is kind of a cool drill. Yeah, I, mean, just I like to, it. One of the other things here, and while I'm still screen recording here, um, you know, you can look at history and groups and uh, all of that down along the bottom. Uh, there's some of my friends, uh, but here is the Ash Dry Fire Challenge group. Um, once you hit 200 shots or trigger presses, it turns all the way red. It resets every okay. Sunday, uh, and so what is today? We're doing this on Tuesday. a Tuesday, right? So there's already, well, 27 people have already done, uh, and whoever Nikki G is has got 198, so... Nikki, Nikki G, you got two more. Come two on. more, right? <laughs> uh, so uh, here's my friend Dig, uh, who is in the dry fire group. This dude is doing some work, nice. um, but uh, it also shows over here on the far right what their best benchmark of the week is. Um, and so it resets every week. And these folks kind of, they, they're part of our dry fire group on, yeah. on the Facebook page as well. But this is kind of the cool community side of it. You can technically, you, you can actually go in here and send messages to each other. Uh, although that kind of was filling up my stuff because it's yeah. a pretty big group. Yeah. You can see there's a lot of people on here. Um, and where we are, we're probably somewhere up in here. I'd have to go find us. Um, mm -hmm. But you're shooting under mine. Okay, so you're yeah. giving me some stuff, so that's always <laughs> nice too, right? Um, but there's a lot of people that haven't pulled the trigger. Yeah. Look at this. As wow. I'm, I don't, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to go fast so we don't, I don't want to call anybody out, but all of you people who I'm scrolling by, I'm calling you out. <laughs> so go spend a little bit of time. Go dust this thing off. You spent some money on this or somebody spent this, some money on this for you. Go make, go make use of it because this is a great tool. You're going to have some fun. You've got a whole group of people that will support you. Oh, look, Scars, Guard, Scars is one. Um, Scars is from, uh, you know, he, he came to Kansas. We've spent some time with him. So yeah. um, you get to recognize some people in here, and it's fun, uh, and I get a kick out of it. Yeah, yeah. It's a great <laughs> unit. You should go use yours more. <laughs> yeah, and, and John and I compete on this all the time. Always who has the best benchmark or who gets the most shots. Uh, John is spending way more time uh with the the black beard um so mm -hmm. his so a lot of his pistol stuff is kind of falling off because he's he's i was just in phoenix i left there today to come back to the cold i don't know why <laughs> but um but he's got uh in his office he's got a little safe there with his gun was set up with the black beard so it says during his breaks from when he when he decides he's done worked long enough he'll get out the gun and he'll pull the trigger like 30 times it's kind yeah. of cool to be able to do that um, but I'm telling you, it's a cool product. It's kind of neat to use. And of course, this isn't a commercial for them. They're not a sponsor of the range. They're a sponsor of ASP and they're really good friends. You can dry fire without this. All of that is fine and you can do it. And I, and, and I highly recommend it, um, but it makes it a little bit more fun because now you've got all of these friends here and you could get to know Scars Rodriguez and you could get to know, uh, you know, some of these other people. I probably shouldn't say everybody's name. Online here, but uh, but it's on the screen, and so yeah. it's all public information. But come join us for this stuff; it's a good time. Join us in the Ask Dry Fire Challenge. You know, for the end of the year challenge, um, our sponsors all ponied up. We gave away a little over three thousand dollars worth of stuff. That's awesome. Um, yeah. A couple of uh, X tens, a Blackbeard X, um, some targets from some different people, some med kits, some uh, just the, all kinds of stuff. It was really cool. Yeah. Uh, so join us in there. Have some fun with us, and and get your work on. Uh, especially during these cold weather months, it's a good time to, to really figure out, dust everything off and figure out what dry fire is. Yeah, for cool. sure. All right, we'll see you next time. See you next time.